Good morning, folks. Today we're hitting two important weather stories, one in South Africa and the other in South America. We also have a major revelation about what's happening in the Arctic in the 6,000-year cycle. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where it was mostly quiet. We have had more solar flaring from the big but decaying sunspot group. The complex is beginning to turn past central longitudes towards the departing limb and is where the latest M-class flaring is erupting. We're fully monitoring those active regions and waiting to see big spots re-emerging from the incoming limb as we get closer to the weekend. As we saw in last night's video, we won't be out of the woods for high solar activity for quite a while. First up in geophysical events, a rare tornado struck South Africa. The extreme storm killed a dozen people and has displaced dozens of others, destroying homes, cars, and pretty much everything it touched. Best of luck and recovery to that community. Up next, we have the official May temperature report out of South America. It was the coldest mark for the continent in 75 years. Very serious start to the southern winter there. Top story today hits the ice melt in the Arctic in the way we've discussed it many times. They say that the rate of cool freshwater dump matches past Heinrich events, the major cooling events in history every 6,000 years. They do try to say that they believe there isn't enough ice to complete that shift this time, at least not by itself. I'm skeptical, and we also know it's not working all by itself, is it? More on this in a special video soon. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.